Thank you very much, Michele. Ladies and gentlemen, good day. Uh, the European Cybercrime Centre, EC3, was created within Europol a year ago as the EU focal point to fight organised cybercrime. It was set up to protect European citizens and business. And during the short period, one year, that the centre has been active, it has already gained a well-deserved reputation in the EU and outside. And today we have a seminar presenting the... Um, the result so far by Mr. Truls Erting, who is the director of EC3. I would like to thank him very much for the tremendous work he has done, and also the director of Europol, Mr. Rob Wainwright. The EC3 is located uh, within the hospices of uh, Europol in The Hague. When we inaugurated the EC3 last year, I said that cyber criminals are smart and they know how to quickly take advantage of new technologies. So we have to be even smarter and even quit quicker if we want to fight them. EC3 has not solved all the problems, but it seems to be one part of the answer here. And it is clearly helping member states to boost their effective, the member states' effectiveness in fighting cyber crimes. The report that uh, Trolls will be presenting, and I think it's here also, uh, clearly shows uh, a number of successful um, operations. So let me just mention a few of them. EC3 has assisted in the coordination of two major international investigations on ransomware, where criminals have infected ten tens of thousands of computers worldwide and realized profits for over 1 million euros per year. EC3 also supported several international initiatives in this area of botnet takedown and malware attack uh, against financial institutions. Further, significant efforts have been made to combat online sexual exploitation of children. At present, EC3 supports nine large child sexual exploitation operations within the EU. In the first year, jointly with many member states and uh, non-EU cooperation partners, EC3 put into combating the illegal activities of pedophile engaged in online sexual exploitation of children using hidden services. It is involved in many operations and joint investigations targeting the production of child abuse material on various internet platforms. It is providing ongoing operational and analytical support to investigations in the darknet, where pedophiles trade in illicit child abuse material in hidden forums, as well as investigations into what is called sextortion. And that is the term given to the phenomena where child abusers gain access to inappropriate pictures of minors and use the images to coerce victims into further acts, or the abuser will forward the images to family and friends of the victims. And a, last, uh, a third example, EC3 supported investigation resulting in three different international networks of credit card fraudsters being dismantled and tens of suspects being arrested. And I'm sure we'll have more details on that in a little while. Of course, we would be naive if we thought that uh, what we have been doing is enough. We are witnessing a fast evolution of criminal behaviours and patterns, exploiting technology development and existing legal loopholes. Our experts are constantly spotting new threats on the horizon. We hear of companies who are blackmailed by hackers, threatening to run attacks against their information systems. And there is evidence that easier video streaming makes it possible for offenders to watch online in real time rapes of children at the other end of the world. The sad reality is that today, the threshold for committing cybercrime is very low. Anybody can become a cybercriminal. There are no specific technical skills needed. All the relevant tools are online, in user-friendly versions, at reasonable prices, offering anyone the opportunity to commit these crimes. Furthermore, cybercrime is among one of the most underreported offences. Victims frequently have no incentive to report, because they are ashamed of having become a victim of a scam, or because they are reimbursed by their banks. It is a low-value, high-volume crime. Service providers, meanwhile, have a reputation to lose and fear exposure to copycat attacks, and this has to change. Criminals act from safe locations. A cyberspace is accessible from anywhere. The threat also comes from anywhere. With global connectivity rapidly increasing, the number of victims and the number of cyber criminals from new regions are also on the rise. As cyber criminals become more and more difficult to track down, their location and the location of the data can be hidden even more effectively. 
software has become available for masking EP IPs that requires lengthy investigations to determine the true location of data, if they can be found at all. And cloud services has great benefits for you and me as consumers, but it also allows criminals to avoid st storing illegal material on their own computers. And even when criminals can be identified, law enforcement authorities face huge difficulties in gathering the necessary uh, evidence. Collection is hampered by the possibilities offered by modern technology such as live streaming. All this is happening and it has changed dramatically our perception of the internet. After the Snowden revelations, of course, European citizens are more concerned about privacy and protecting their personal data in cyberspace. So that's why we must make sure that well-established fundamental rights principles are properly applied to new technology development. So to conclude, our cyber experts have given important contribution to safeguard an open and free internet, to safeguard the digital economy and to protect European citizens and businesses online. Thanks to the work of the European Cybercrime Centre, we are able to work together effectively and timely at European and international level. Thereby, we are protecting citizens online by identifying the most dangerous cybercrime threats and the key groups at EU level. So I'm sure that we will continue to build on this success of the first year and looking forward to many years of successful cooperation together. And with this, I will hand over to the director of EC3, Mr. Trolls Erdi. Trolls, you have the floor.